The following is a recreation of a DWI accident with fatalities. This accident is staged, but the response is real. A drunk driver emerges from the accident he just caused. First responders race to the scene as his friends lay dying on the ground. We had a two vehicle major accident, T-bone, side collision with a car up on its side. Uh, we had two patients already out of the vehicles, two patients trapped in this vehicle. It's really realistic about having to triage the patients, deciding on how you're going to get them out, how you're going to treat them. We want to go ahead and find out what's the most important to get out first. You basically just have to break them in order. So we figured that uh, since that one was dead, they would just they could wait. So we concentrated on these patients inside of this car. Go ahead and stabilize in the vehicle, not only for their safety, but for our safety also. And then go ahead and extricate these patients from the vehicle. Law enforcement officers suspect the teenage driver is impaired and administer a field sobriety test. We look for things, uh, visual signs, uh, smell, uh, to see if there's any impairment. Um, it might not always be alcohol related. It could be uh, illegal narcotics that might be impairing them or uh, prescription medication. The driver is arrested for DWI and could face charges of manslaughter. Not only to affect your life, your family's life, your friend's life, you know, it affects other people too, such as law enforcement. Um, if it's a wreck, it's other people that are involved in the wreck uh, that can be impacted by this. One of the victims is dead on the scene. His distraught mother looks on. Another victim remains trapped inside the car. We figured the best way to get access to the patient was just to go ahead and remove the roof so we could have access to both patients. So we used our cutters to go ahead and pinch the A and cut the A, B, and C posts. And then just go ahead and remove the roof to get it out of the way. Take in you know, the damage to the cars. Uh, you had the victims, you know, laying on the ground. You know, the, the impact that it has on the family, uh, the mother that was there, the impact that it has on the driver that was charged with the impaired driving, and the impact that it has on the uh, first responders. So you could see that it really had the students' attention as we were working. It was kind of, seemed almost sobering to the students. Their whole future's ahead of them. There's no sense in making a silly mistake like this. They should go out and have a great time at prom and everything else like that, but they also should make smart decisions and be safe. No matter if it's a mile down the road, you know, they think that, you know, I only have to drive a mile uh, in, on the back streets um, and that, you know, I'll be okay and I'll get there safely. You know, when in fact it you know, only takes one mistake, um, you know, to ruin your life or the lives of others. Accidents like this happen every day and they could have been prevented. If you have been drinking, don't get behind the wheel.